Is one of your goals to save for a home in 2023? We're here to give you 12 tips to help you reach your goals faster. So with the recent real estate market adjustments, one of your 2023 New Year's resolutions may be to buy a home. So we're Rachel and Doug Swordstrom with the Swordstrom Group, and we're gonna go over 12 strategies to help you in saving for a down payment as efficiently as possible and position yourself to purchase a home. So we love real estate and we wanna help as many people as possible. So if you find this video helpful, we simply ask that you subscribe, like, and comment below as the YouTube algorithms will then spread this video to a wider audience. So let's go over 12 strategies to save quickly and efficiently for your down payment for a home. The beginning of starting to save for a home begins with your mindset and a plan. As with many goals, your mindset is very important. Share the goal you have with ones close to you to help hold you accountable. Take a photo of your favorite neighborhood monument or your home you like in a particular neighborhood and keep that photo in front of you in a place you'll see. Kind of like your vision board to help you keep stay focused on your goal and your plan until you make your purchase. And as we covered in another video on our channel, you don't necessarily need a 20% down payment. You may be able to get a home with only five to 10%. Number two, set a down payment goal for the amount of money you need to save. Before you start saving for a house, it's important to determine how much money you need based on a realistic estimate of home prices in the area and neighborhood you like, and set an achievable timeline as well. Depending on the size of the down payment, this goal may take several months or years to achieve. Number three, set up a separate and unique account. Call it your house fund and keep your savings in liquid assets. Like a high yield savings account, you'll want it easily accessible when it's time to purchase your home. And number four, automate your account. Set up an automatic payment transfer from your checking to your savings account or even have your employer do this for you with your paychecks. So with a certain percentage of each paycheck to create a forced savings program for yourself so that you can stick to your plan without fail. Number five, anything extra you can pull together to add to your savings can help. Anytime you can get extra money from tax refunds, bonuses, selling items that you may have, you can deposit these big chunks into your savings account as soon as possible. Anything extra you can put into your savings account helps. Number six, get your debt under control by refinancing high interest loans, paying off and canceling extra credit cards, possibly transferring balances to low interest credit cards. All these will help you in saving more quickly for a home. You know, Rachel and I are big fans of Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and his methods of lowering and eliminating debt. So number seven, try not to switch jobs if possible within two years of starting the home buying process. As lenders often look for job stability as a minimum requirement of two years with the same employer for the best interest rates. So there's also exceptions for self-employed individuals and full-time students. Number eight. <laughs> Make timely payments on all debts and bills in order to increase your credit score and make yourself more attractive to lenders when you apply for a loan in the future. Number nine, mm -hmm. save on everyday expenses. Two practical areas that may save the most for you are cooking more at home and eating out less and cutting down on entertainment costs. Number 10, Consider earning extra money through side hustles, such as freelancing or selling products online. These small but steady streams of income can help you reach your savings goals faster than sticking strictly with a nine to five job. So number 11. <laughs> so once you have enough saved up for closing costs and down payments, sometimes as low as five to 10%, Explore loan options from banks and other lending institutions so that you can start making offers when the time comes. Number 12. <laughs> bonus, bonus tip. Many buyers are unaware of the ability to borrow up to 50% of your company 401k as a down payment towards your home purchase. You just have to pay it back, which is like paying yourself back anyways 
at low interest rates. So in conclusion, don't let your dreams of buying a home fade away, especially in 2023. With our strategy and our 12 tips, a home purchase can be more realistic than ever. We invite you to contact us. We'd love to help you get started with a specific plan that works for you. And we'd love to hear from you too. If you found this video helpful, and if you think others may benefit from this, like Rachel said, please hit like and subscribe. And remember to let us know your thoughts on the video in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.